Hello, I'm Alex. I'm a product manager here at Kanji. And today I want to talk about migrating MDM for iOS devices. People often think that's really hard. There's a lot of friction. It doesn't scale. I can't do it remotely. But for shared devices with the new technology that Apple announced last year called Return to Service, that's no longer true. You can migrate hundreds or even thousands of devices from one MDM to the other using Return to Service, and you don't need to touch them, even be in close proximity to them at all. You can do this entirely remotely. So let's take a look together. All right, this begins in Apple Business Manager where you select your devices, in this case, the iPad to my left, to assign it to your new MDM, in this case, Kanji. So we'll hit continue and confirm we want to do this change and let Apple Business Manager assign the device to Kanji. Now, this does nothing to the device. There's no impact to the current operations. Uh, that is until you get to your old MDM and trigger return to service. So now that Apple Business Manager has completed the assignment to Kanji, then you move over to Kanji, you make sure that your devices are syncing over and that they're assigned to the correct settings that you've replicated from your old MDM. So in this case, this device will be assigned to my corporate devices blueprint, which is an assignment map. Um, in here, I have my automated device roamlet settings, my corporate wallpaper and my Wi-Fi settings, in addition to installing the Kanji self-service app and our home screen layout uh, for these devices. Now with that done, uh, all that's left is for us to move over to our old MDM, trigger return to service, and see how this works out. Let me trigger return to service in the old MDM right now. So now the iPad to my left will now erase itself. Uh, you might have noticed the menu bar goes away, the date and time goes away, and pretty soon the iPad will reboot. There it goes. So what it's doing now is executing return to service. So it's a standard erase all content and settings or an MDM remote wipe, plus the extra new key that Apple introduced last year with iOS and iPadOS 17. So what this does is that it keeps that setting in a non-erasable portion of iOS and iPadOS, and then we'll use that information when it's back after erasing itself. It'll, the instruction will be complete setup assistant automatically. And if provided, use a Wi-Fi payload to get back on the network to be able to do that. So that's what it's going to do now. Um, so of course, this is obviously perfect for shared devices, a device that are not, that don't have local data on them, that are not, and that are not assigned to one-to-one -one persons. Um, and then these devices are usually remote and there's no technical people close to them available to go and complete setup by them uh, on the class. So this is perfect for those environments where you have these devices that are remote, that you can't have personal touch every single time you need to reset them. Um, or in this case, you want to migrate MDM. That's the beauty. Because it's self itself up again, but in the process, it checks with Apple activation servers for automated device enrollment instructions. And that's where ADE or Apple Business Manager uh, settings are set. And that's where the device gets that information. It gets told which MDM to enroll to every single time it gets erased and does return to service. So what I did previously, as we showed you, is that I moved this device from one MDM to the other in Apple Business Manager. So it's gonna pick up those settings after it's done rebooting and erasing itself. So as you can see, I don't need to interact with this device at all. Uh, we've had customers use this to migrate from other MDMs to Kanji successfully. They've migrated hundreds and thousands of devices remotely all across the country, across many time zones, without having to interact with them, without having to use people on site to go and touch each device. Um, so this is typically something you'll do after hours, um, outside of business hours, not to interrupt the business or operations on the daily, and we'll let the devices do their, their thing while people are, are outside of the area around the device. So you see the device going through Setup Assistant right now. It's totally unhandled, on person, there's no cable. Um, so this is absolutely scalable. This will do the work for you. This will migrate these devices to your new MDM without any interaction, you need to touch them, anything like that. So as you see, it's back to the home screen. 
This is the standard um, iPadOS 17 uh, home screen and uh, wallpaper. And pretty soon, uh, a couple of apps are going to come down and your payloads come in. You see our new wallpaper is here with the Kanji logo. And once the apps are done installing, after resetting itself, um, it'll uh, apply our home screen layout as well. So that's a complete MDM migration. We'll let the device do its thing. Um, with iPadOS and iOS, I think, 16, some of the apps now come in after a reset, so they're not part of the operating system anymore. So they re-download. That's what you're seeing right now. Some of the built-in apps, built apps download. But overall, this process takes just a few minutes. And after a couple of minutes, you're done. And you have a completely migrated device. No need to touch it. So I hope you see that this is a way to migrate an iOS or iPadOS device that is very scalable. That's probably that's the easiest way to migrate an Apple device. It's with this. It's with return to service. So in many ways, uh, iOS and iPadOS devices can be easier to migrate than anything else, uh, even the Mac with our amazing Kanji Migration Assistant. Um, so for those unpersoned uh, kiosk, um, you know, shared devices, shift worker devices, you can execute this migration without ever touching any single device. All right, so um, let's talk about what's needed to make this happen. Uh, as this device completes its uh, setup. Uh, of course, this is for device that you're willing to erase. Return to service, by definition, erases the devices. It's also meant to, um, to allow you to, say, refresh devices that uh, you're currently using for shared environments. Uh, so on the daily, you might reset these devices, take away any user craft or browsing history, camera roll contents, and so on. So if you're already using return to service to do that, you can use it to reset these devices and migrate MDM. Um, so if your, mic your devices are available to erase, there's no local content that you care about. They're an Apple business manager. You can use automated device enrollment on them and that you don't require uh, authentication during enrollment, then return to service works for you. So I hope you see how easy it can be to migrate iOS devices at scale. You can migrate hundreds of thousands of them with return to service. This new technology that Apple brought to the platform last year with iOS 17 and iPadOS 17. It was a huge change, makes a big difference, and hopefully it helps you move to Kaji as soon as possible.